All right, here we go, new problem. So the question sentence reads, what is the total cost? All right, sounds good. What is the total cost? So we're thinking about a money problem here and immediately we're thinking, hey, we are probably purchasing some items and we wanna figure out how much we pay at the end. So let's give this a shot here. So we wanna know the total cost and it begins by saying, we buy some boxes of screws at $9 each and we buy some packs of anchors for $4 each. So before I even continue, everybody, before I continue, what do you think the relationship is here between the 11 boxes of screws at $9 each? What operation do you think we're gonna be performing there? Yeah, multiplication all the way, because if we're trying to get that total cost, again, if we're trying to work our way up to that total cost, everybody, then what that tells us is, hey, 11 boxes at $9 per box, multiply to get the total cost there. Same thing, similar reasoning over here. 13 packs of anchors at $4 each. You're saying $4 per, per pack of anchors. So $4 per pack of anchors times 13 anchors, that'll give us the total cost of the anchors. But when we take a look at the next sentence here, this is where we really have to pay attention. So let me first write down that we have, again, 11 boxes of screws at $9 each. So we'll multiply those. And then we also have the 13 packs of anchors at $4 each. But next, in this next sentence, it says, you use a $15 store credit and you pay a $4 recycling fee. Two things just happened there in the same sentence. Be careful. Everybody, first, let's break down the store credit. When we use a store credit, what does that do to the amount that we are supposed to pay at the end? What does that do? Yeah, that's going to subtract, that's going to decrease the amount of our bill, right? That's gonna decrease the amount that we are supposed to pay. So what that tells me right over here is we will subtract $15 for that store credit. And then we have one more little detail to take care of, and it's going to be paying a $4 recycling fee. My party people, paying right here, and it's a fee, again, paying a fee, clearly going to be added on top. So we had that one minor extra detail to consider, but we will be adding $4 at the end. So now that we've gone over the context, now that we've gone over the full story, front to back, now we can be confident about how we'll get to that final answer. We'll get the cost of the screws, 11 times nine. We'll get the cost of the anchors, 13 times four. We'll subtract that store credit that we have, and then we'll add on that $4 fee. Once we do all of that together, then boom, we are good, we'll have that final amount. So let's get to work here. 11 multiplied by nine, that's gonna give us 99. 13 multiplied by four, I can do some mental math there because 13 times four, we can start off with 12 times four. 12 times four is 48. Add another four, so to make it 13, and that'll be 52. Don't believe me, feel free to pause the video or just do it on your own here on the side. Hey, try it out. So 13 times four again, that's $52. From here, we have to remember that we'll be subtracting the 15 bucks and then adding four at the end. So here we go. We'll just start off by adding the 99 and 52 together. If I just take a one from 52, so if I just take a one away and I make that 51, I can make this a clean 100. And then 100 plus 51 is 151. Okay, that's just a little bit of mental math that I wanted to show you. So that way you're not always stuck doing 99 plus 52. Whenever I have a 99 available, I'm just gonna take a one from here and put it there. But here, again, I'm just gonna show you what we're avoiding. Nine plus two is 11. Then nine plus five is 14, carry the one, is 15. So just like I said, yep, would have been the same exact thing and we would have been good. And then similarly, here at the end, we can use a little bit of mental math, everybody. We don't have to go straight into subtracting 15. We don't have to. Because everybody, if you are using a $15 store credit, but you still have to pay a $4 fee, what's the difference in that? What's the difference going to be? If we take away 15 and we add four, 
Yeah, that's going to be a difference of 11. We're still going to take away 11. 151 minus 11, my party people, is what? That's going to be 140, right? That's 140. Another way that you can think about it, another way that you can happily think about this, is you can add the 4 first, and then you'll have 155, and then you can subtract the 15. You can do it in that order as well, because that'll still give you the same correct final answer. Again, 150. 40. But nonetheless, there it is. The correct answer to this problem is answer choice B, 140, with the other answers being distractors. If you would have stopped short, subtracted the four instead of adding four, and a couple of other things. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I hope you're ready for the next one.